season. <laughs> I'm David Waite with an exclusive holiday backstage interview for XNDTV.com with Wayman Tisdale. Wayman, that was a fantastic show. Thanks, man. Man, you blew me away. I, I had no idea, uh, <laughs> leaving basketball, that you could be such a prodigy on stage. Um, and you have such an elegant persona, and you seem to have an every man's view on life and music, and that's just what I gathered from uh, your conversation and the music that you uh, shared. Well, thanks, man. I just, I, I love people, I love life, I love uh, the fact that, you know, God has given me such these talents. I can't take any credit for it, and I just try to display it. And, and you know, my, my whole thing is if I can take people away from whatever their problems were, or whatever they're doing for, the, for an hour, to get their mind off of what their, their struggles are, whatever they are, I feel that I'm, I'm helping the world. So, uh, well, you helped so me tonight, that. I tell thanks, you. Thanks, man. What made you uh, want to pursue a career in music? Um, uh, my father gave, gave me this Mickey Mouse guitar way when I was like in third, fourth grade. He gave me this little Mickey Mouse guitar and I tried to learn how to play it. Uh, and I broke all the strings except for two. Okay. And that's that's where the bass came in. Yeah, that's right. That's that's with two that's strings, all you can do is play bass. And, and you're a lefty, right? Yeah. Okay. And uh, just never had a lesson, picked it up, and started making sense out of it from day one. So you answered my second question, which was how long you've played music since mm -hmm. you were about three? Um, actually, uh, third grade, maybe uh, oh. eight or nine, okay. you know, yeah, whatever. And, uh, and you uh, started with bass? I started. I started with bass, and wow. then all his like bass and guitar. You okay. Know? But really, it was bass that made the most sense, you know, for the most part. Then guitar came into place maybe uh, the last five, six years. And your favorite genre of music? Gospel. Uh, I would say because I was raised on gospel okay. and raised in church and playing that kind of music, and, uh, and, then, and then it just transpired and then morphed into um, the more of the, the the contemporary jazz. Yeah. And then funk and R and B, you know, all those elements are in my music. Uh, yeah, I gathered that. Who would you think? Who or what uh, would be your biggest influence for your particular style of music? My particular style would be the George Dukes, Stanley Clarks, mm. David Sanborns, yeah. uh, the more edgier group of guys that like the groove-oriented uh, musicians that really had that R and B base, you know. And really, I I, I want to be more of an R and B. Artists more than actually, I'm an entertainer. I yeah, would, I, you know, I, I, you know, I, I was like, about to cut you off. I don't want to really be you are an entertainer. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to put you in a box like that. Right. You're, you're putting yourself in a box, and right, I wouldn't do exactly. that. Um, now you mentioned like Bob James, and I know there's Dave Cos mm -hmm. and George Duke, and so many others. Is there one mm -hmm. in particular? Can you can you say it on camera without getting in trouble? Was who was your favorite to play with? Wow. I was in awe to play with Bob James. I, it was it was a, uh, one of my biggest dreams to play with George Duke on sure. the, which I did last year. Wow, that's a hard one. Probably George Duke, um, but I, I, I mean those guys. Are, all, I would have never would have thought I would have been playing with the likes of Bob James and George Duke. And, uh, it's and, it's uh, unimaginable uh, to be playing on the stage with Stevie Wonder and, uh, and, and Shaka Khan. And I never really thought you know I would ever do that. I always loved and would, I would look at him and watch and. To that day came, I was like, man, I had to pinch myself. Sure, too, you know? sure. Yeah. Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, your TV and film experiences. That you got some things that have been new and fresh in your life. Well, tell me, can you touch on that? Oh well, yeah, I, well, I do a lot of TV, but the, the, my, my my biggest thing is a, a TV show that we're working on now. It's called Wayman's World. Uh, that I don't think I mentioned tonight, but it's a, it's a, a sports and entertainment boot camp for uh, athletes, really, uh, and former athletes to 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 to, to, to aspire Wayman's to, world, right? Is this take off Wayne's world? Exactly. Okay. Okay. But it's more like um, you know, it's 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 my uh, it's your fantasy uh, for for athletes to to get into the entertainment side. It's like it's like a, a boot camp where you're going to go through a boot camp for several weeks, and at the end of the several weeks, you. you we present the athlete who's been performed into an entertainment. I want to come to this camp. You got to, you got to check it out. I it's want to a really, you know, we're, we're going to do a, a TV up. reality series. Where's it yeah. going to be held? Any part of the country? In Los Angeles, we're yeah. going to do it in Los Angeles. Okay. Yeah. Uh, when's it starting? Um, we, we're, we're getting the pilot now. I mean, we're getting the, the things. We're probably the first of next year. Okay. Yeah. Or the middle of next year, rather. And, you know, because uh, it's kind of so you hard. You better to, stay in touch with this. I want to. I, I want to be there. Yeah, I want to yeah. be front and You were invited. You heard me. I'm going to be there. At Wayman's World. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's a quote here, um, and this is an, from a very, very famous person who would, uh, obviously adores you. Wayman can play, brother. 
and that's it. <laughs> Jamie Foxx. Uh, well, I've got a quote. I'm going to save it for last uh, because, you know, music, it's different styles, fashion, mm -hmm. genres, they, they go through cycles, and, uh, and they go through cycles over time, as we all know. And you made a comment earlier, and you said um, about being old school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, personally, from what I just gathered tonight, this is my very first time seeing you perform. Okay. I think you've got what's been missing in music for a long time, and I, I think there's a, something you'd, you'd call a future sound, and quite honestly, uh, yeah. I think you're leading the way. Wow, thanks, man. You know, thanks. and this is a David Wade XNDTV.com original quote: "Smooth like butter." Uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> thanks, the, I'm David Wade with Wayman thanks Chisdale, for having me on, David. XNDTV.com. We'll see you again soon. Thanks. Thank you, man. Fantastic, Thank you, man. That's a, that's he, he claimed it on TV. He spoke it. <laughs> I'm gonna believe that.